What's going on and welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. We're here at Mike's Barn and today we're going to be putting to the test an inflatable paint booth. Don't overthink it, it's just paint. And today we're over at Mike's Barn, a little bit different environment than we're used to on the channel, but a more relatable environment for a lot of my do-it-yourselfers. Well, today we're gonna put to the test how well does an inflatable booth work, and well, we're gonna paint three panels on Jeremy's mom's SUV. So this is a sewin flaw paint booth. Now it comes with two blowers. The paint booth itself, it is a 28 by 15 by 11, so it's on the bigger end and also has come up the filters make sure that all of our paint fumes are being filtered properly so let's go ahead get this all unboxed and let's get it all blown up Jeremy and I have it all extended, so a quick little rundown of how it gets set up. And Jeremy, we might need to move it forward a little bit, but there's two blowers. So basically one of the blowers in the gray uh, tunnel here is for actually physically blowing up the uh, paint booth itself, the structure. The secondary blower is for the airflow so that we can move the overspray from one side of the booth to the other. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit the button before we get ready for our paint job. Uh, here it is all blown up. I gotta say, it probably only took about a good minute and a half. Um, a little assistance to kind of move it into place and it's really good. See, it just clears up there. It says it's about 11 feet high. These are the filters. There's one on either side. If we take this off here, you can see there's a filter here. Now, uh, this booth also has another option for an elephant trunk, which is an exhaust filter uh, system where a fan will mount in this area and further assist to pull out the air or the overspray. So look forward on more videos to getting that set up and showing it to you because that option is definitely on its way. But right now we're gonna see how well it works. If we come here and take a look, we have both of our filters on either side. And then over in this area, um, this will be, I guess, our little mixing room. Okay, so basically you have in here a little compartment area and then back into the garage. Now, you guys might have noticed something that we pulled it out into the sun just to give ourselves a little bit more light. Uh, that's actually better because you can see what you're doing when it was in the garage, there just was not enough light. Now, what you should do is probably bring a tarp really to protect your bottom floor here. Uh, we just have a small one that will help out a little bit with the overspray. But we're going to go ahead and get this car pulled in here. Just basically real quick how this paint booth works. Intake comes from here, here, air, and then goes out those two filters right there. So let's go ahead and get her pulled in, taped off, and let's see how this mobile setup works. And as you can see, there's tons of space for this to get into the booth and work around. And this is what we're gonna be painting today. Now, Jeremy was putting some vinyl on these pillars here and the vinyl, it just hit the door and it pulled the clear coat right off. So I said, you know what? Instead of just doing one door, let's te test out this paint booth. Let's do all three panels. It's an older car. We're breaking all the rules. We're taping stuff off when we really shouldn't, but we just wanna do a quick job and make this thing look better and get it going down the road again. There are some dents. There are some scratches, not a real true paint society job, but this is gonna be an awesome video and a good test to see how it works to set up a paint booth right here in your own home.
We got it all masked up. She's ready to go. Now, a couple things about this booth. On the outside, if you're really concerned about the, um, the booth deflating power loss or something like that, if you're setting it up inside, you can definitely hook up something to these uh, hooks right here and maybe something inside of your garage just to keep it elevated in the uh, in the rare case that it does start to deflate it does deflate fast so it does offer some hooks so you could possibly do that it also offers hooks if you're right here in the grass and you just want to kind of keep it stable on a windy day they don't recommend you uh, use this booth outdoors when it's raining outdoors when it's raining outdoors when it's raining uh, so just keep those things in mind now also remember the booth is not ever going to replace a regular $100,000, $50,000 paint booth, but it does get you painting anywhere by just hooking up to your regular outlets, all right? So keep that in mind. These booths will not be a regular professional style paint booth. It's just not gonna happen, but it does give you a benefit to set up wherever you need. Let's talk a little bit about the air. So in the back of the booth, we have two of the blowers. And now this is normal. This is to inflate the actual booth itself. And this is for the air circulation. Now the compressor that we have here, it's a 60 gallon. All right, and that should be more than sufficient of what we need to do. And I also got this on Amazon. You guys can get this really easy to hook up. They recommend 20 feet of air line uh, from the compressor before this air filter. And then we have our hose that is gonna go into the paint booth. So I'll put the link in the description for everything that we use today. Let's get in the booth and let's start spraying. We're all ready to spray. Now what I have here is House of Color. Um, this is an Intercoat Clear. And the reason why we're using this one is because I sell it on Amazon. You guys all wanna know how to get your products online so you don't have to go to the paint store. I'm putting it down as a visual aid. It's gonna show me exactly how my blend looks and then it's gonna keep things nice and smooth and then we'll move into our base coat. Now we're gonna move right into our base coat and we can see it probably can cover pretty well. So we laid down one more coat of base off camera, and now it's time to put down the clear. We're using the Finish One FC 710. And now the rain is coming down, so let's start laying it down. They say not to use this outdoors, but we didn't expect any of this bad weather, so let's get started. Beautiful, huh? Yeah. 
Come in here, take a look at this first coat. Beautiful. For the first coat, really happy. We're gonna lay it on a little bit slower, a little bit wetter. We're concerned about this rain. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna come through, so let's kick it into high we'll gear find out. and let's go. No. Yes. What was that? Coming through the Oh, that is a water drop. I don't know because it came out of here. Let's go. Let's do it before it dries. I need to dry it off though. No. It's coming. Yeah, look, look. Look. Turn the car over? Yeah. Yeah, it's not there. It's there. Where? Oh. He's got something to put over it. Jeremy. He's got something to put over it. Yeah. yeah. That would be smart. Is it just that spot, I wonder? Is it just that spot? Fit inside? Uh, we're gonna blow it off and see if we can save it. It's we not can, quite covered. Yeah, we, Jeremy, we'll move it over. Let me get a blower. I'm kind of happy it's not from the airline. So we had to cut the scene abruptly, you saw that. It started to rain and it specifically says in the directions don't use this outdoors on a cloudy day or something like that. So the rain came in quick and this is the result. It started to drip immediately, not to fall to the fault of the booth, but started to drip. And you can see it left all these lines. So this is what we're doing now. Basically what I'm doing is gonna allow this to really flash off or really dry. And I'm gonna kind of get all the water off it. We're, we're gonna get out of this, but we might need to put an extra coat of clear on it to kind of bury some of this unevenness. We had to run into the shed and pick this guy up. That's why we cut the scene. So now we have two layers of protection and the sun came back out. Never a dull moment, but adds to the experience of the job. It's a good thing to paint. It's drying so quick because it created a barrier where this, these droplets aren't embedded. embedded. We got the water blown off. We're gonna put down a second coat and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Maybe we'll put on a third. Sun came back out for now, so let's roll. My little West Sand and Buff. Oh yeah, etch it a little bit. All right, so the second coat went down really nice. I still got a big line right here. It's not horrible. I got a line right here. It's not horrible. We're waiting for the third coat. Maybe it will kind of flow things over. We usually don't put three coats, but I'm happy to even be at this point right here. Let's roll.
Oh, oh. Listen, no run, no fish eyes, good color mass, minimal dirt. And of course, the sun back out again. I mean, this has just been insane what's going on today. But like I said, uh, these booths are not meant to be used with any bad weather is around. So make sure you check your, uh, your weather forecast first. You know, we had planned this day for a long time. So it was gonna be today no matter what. But guys, wow, we dodged a bullet here. We really dodged a bullet beautiful minus the dents and the door handle is still on and all the things you shouldn't do absolutely beautiful you can't even tell that right in the middle there was a big long um streak of water you can barely even tell over there there was a little bit as well um but it just looks fantastic so at this point jeremy this is when we're going to pull off our tape because what we did at the edge so it doesn't bridge is we left uh, this half inch tape right here so we could pull it off. That way we don't have any bridging. We're about 20 minutes after. So we have about a quarter inch going around the whole entire vehicle. And you see how that really just helps out so you don't have any issues. So we'll complete that now. We'll give it another 30 minutes, I'm sure, to dry and we'll take it out and take a look. About 45 minutes total dry time so far. Man, Jeremy's got it all unmasked. We'll take this thing out and we'll pull it out. We really got ourselves out of a pickle here, but uh, I just love to share that experience with you guys. So let's get everything taken out and let's look at this thing outside. Well, you're not gonna believe what I'm seeing here. This thing looks amazing. I don't even think we're gonna buff it. I mean, it might have a couple of pieces of dirt here and there, but for what this job's worth, wow. It's all shiny. These three panels were very dull because I originally painted this vehicle, the front end, and uh, it, really, it really made the rest of the panels look bad. God, look at this. Really good. Oh my gosh. Out of that paint booth, you know, we had a lot of issues, a lot, of, a lot of problems with, you know, rain and making things happen, but we can't help those elements. But the, uh, the paint just laid down. Nothing, nothing was able to make its way into the booth. No insects. Cut out the elements that did its job. I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. And as we finish up, we ended up rolling up the whole entire paint booth. Took a little time to get all the air out, but we're gonna store it away and then Send it back up until the next paint job. So I definitely do recommend an inflatable paint booth. We have to kind of remember how to use it properly so we don't have those issues. So always be aware of the weather, be aware of your surroundings. It really helps you get painting quick. You blow it up, you're ready to go in a minute and 30 seconds approximately, and then you can store it away and you're good to go. So special thanks to uh, Mike and Mike's Barn is an awesome, cool place. Wish I had something like this, but it really fits the dynamic of what we did today. And well, I think your mom's gonna be pretty happy with her paint. And well, so I'm much, so much so that he wants to do the roof and two other panels. So we'll see it in the future. Also, maybe possibly some boat uh, repaints. Thinking about, sure. yeah. So uh, stay tuned to the channel, guys. This is Brian from Paint Side reminding you: don't overthink it. It's just paint. We'll see you guys on the next one.